Welcome to Toffee TV. Everton have made a signing and it is Adrissa Garner Gay. He is back after three years? Mm. Three years? Three years? Three years. It? Three years at Paris Saint Germain. Fin like finishing school, essentially. That's what it was. He's been away finishing school oh, he's and he's back. coming back now. He's coming back on man, ready to kick on his career. Is he? Yeah, ready to kick on. Border play with Messi Not, and Mbappe yeah. and Neymar. Saying that was finishing school. Mm. Now it's now it's the big leagues, the, the farmers okay. leagues done with. Now it's the big leagues, and he's coming back mm. and he's gonna take this Everton team to the next level. I don't know what level that is, mm -hmm. but it's the next yeah, one. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. He's back. Mm. He's back. How long till he's switching the play and the balls are going out and he's going? Oh, no, Messi gives a controller. <laughs> um, now, obviously, you know, three years away, left. Uh, it was in, obviously an integral part of Marco Silva's Everton when he left that summer. And we got John Philippe Gabamon to replace him. John Philippe Gabamon's gone out and gone us back. Um, now, obviously, he left that summer and it was a hole that Everton never fixed, actually. And, and you know, we said this the other week that Everton are signing Garner to replace Garner because it feels mm. like that since he went. No one's yeah. really gone in there and took control of that midfield the way he used to yeah um but obviously people will be rightly saying well you know 33 soon and is he still yeah, the same yeah. player who left and all that but in some respects if everton have got the legs of a Wobi and obviously the core in the squad and you've got onana and then you've got Garner, mm. then he can just do that little role of patrolling even though at times for psg he's actually He's actually played further forward and scored. Which I always said he could do. Good. We, we saw it in the last few months when they came in for him, didn't we? He, he went up yeah. unbelievably till the end of the season mm -hmm. and played a little bit further forward. So it'll be interesting to see how, obviously, how it all fits together for Frank Lampard. But he, Everton have been interested in him for... And this deal was, in theory, done a few weeks ago and obviously hit the buffers over mm. payments. But they've got it sorted and he is back at Everton. Yeah, that, I, I think I can understand there's it, that people saying, you know, there was, we heard names like Mo Kamara for, for just a little bit more money and, yeah. and all these kind of things. And obviously he's someone with a, a big future. Mm. But maybe right now we need, a, we need a mix and having, you know, we've seen what, bringing more experienced players like Connor Cody and James Tarkowski have, uh, you know, helped within the, the leadership side of the of the team, and and I think having someone in midfield with a little, that kind of experience and the experience he's gained whilst being a Paris Saint Germain, winning trophies and Champions, Champions League, League runs, you know, he was there when they got to the final, mm -hmm. but obviously they never won it. Um, just little things like that, because as a player, he can he will only have have improved playing with those kind of players mm -hmm. and training every day at the level he will have been having to train at is only going to make you a better player. Of course, there's going to be question marks physically about him. But when he left, I mean, he was in the form of his life when he left Everton. And he hasn't played lots and lots of games. And of mm. course, as you get older, you're, you're more susceptible to injuries and that kind of thing. But I think, I think for me it is... I'm not saying a no-brainer because we've been here before and there's different, you know, there's, for, every, for every Gareth Barry... There's a you know Fabian Delph, Fabian Delph. Mm. and it's it's where he falls. But I'm I am hope, I'm confident and I'm hoping that if he gets anywhere near that level and he's got Onana in there and Awobi, that that can really change our midfield up. And if we if we're playing that three and give us someone who you know is busy, can get round the pitch, can sense the danger, can allow the fullbacks to get forward by filling in and just understands. The Premier League, and listen, the Premier League, I think, since he's left, has probably gone up a little bit because it just seems to go up all the time. But this is our fella who understands it, and this is not this is not alien to him, this is not new to him. I think all those things combined, and him knowing the club, and obviously he, he'll he probably, you know, move back to where he lived before, and, and you know, all those kind of things. Mm. You know, it's not all those things, there's no settling in period. Low maintenance. Thing. It, it is, it's a very, it's a very simple Transfer, transfer, I think, and and mm. to get someone back that the fans always liked, mm. respected, you know, understood when he left, going to somewhere like Paris Saint Germain. So, um, I'm 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 happy with this one. I am I'm happy with this one, and I think 
it just gives us another option in there and it gives us an option that we just I don't think we've got at the moment as well so and yeah you you would like a younger version and hopefully that's what they do in the next two years it gives mm. them time to maybe find that next version uh, a, a much younger one yeah it, again like if, for all the reasons you've just said he, he knows the club he knows the training ground well yes a lot of the players you're have, saying he knows the city knows the city a lot of the players have, have left as well who were here when he was here as well so there is that but there'll be obviously ones who we played with you know Seamus being the, the biggest one still here and stuff so there is that thing of coming back in and the league might have moved on but then again he's played against Man City scored against Man City yeah. in the Champions League so he's got that experience as well generally a fit lad and with all of that experience you can come in and, and you know, you mentioned Gareth Barry there, and Gareth Barry was a, a supreme footballer. And just sat in that middle of the park and dictated. Garner's a little bit different yeah. in terms of putting fires out and stuff, and, and very energetic. But he's been very energetic last season. Mm. Just looking at, you know, it, some of his numbers from the data from last season, he's on the 97th percentile for open mm. play passes. Obviously, his passing game was something that maybe went under the radar last time with us. It was more seen as someone who broke the play up, but he is a better footballer than than what we probably give him credit for. You know, pressure passes in 91st percentile, XG build up 97th percentile. Out of obviously the, the you know the top three four percent we're talking here for pressures on the ball the 94th percentile for pe- pressure adjusted um, pressures 99th percentile interceptions and tackles 98th percentile defensive action regains getting the ball back 80th percentile mm. pressure regains 86th percentile 75th percentile for interceptions mm. so all of that stuff which is going and knitting it back yeah. and winning it and get all of the things where. We've had midfielders over the since he's left who've all been good at some things, but no one was ever able to do what he, he was able to do. The, we hoped Gabama would do it and be a physical, a more physical mm. um, version of Ghana. And obviously, he was a lot younger, 22 when he came, had the injuries, and, and that hasn't worked. Mm. So, getting him back in and putting him in there with someone like Amadou Onana, who's just learning the game, but it looks a huge mm. talent. I'll, I'll, like I said before, Alex Awobi's legs and, and getting all over the pitch, and obviously Awobi played with them like before. Yeah. And also having Decore in there as well, someone who he hasn't played with, but you can come in and do his job as well. And that kind of thing just gives Frank Lampard real options, you know. And, yeah. and it, it is like you said before, we are able to mix the makeup of the midfield mm. up a bit now, and having him do that will will make a big difference. I yeah, think. let's let's have a look at some more of his numbers. So 26 games last season, three goals, three big chances uh, created, uh, pass accuracy 93 and tackles per game 2.3. I mean, the goals and the big chances created are not really a huge part of his game and mm. you obviously come up with the numbers there that are more part of his game. But, you know, he's played a few games there and the pass accuracy and the tackles and stuff, are, you know, more more in his range. So I, I think it's a, as I said, I think it's a no-brainer. I know, I know. You can look at the negative side of it, and I understand that, and look at it from the other point of view, his age, everything else. But for me, as you're trying to build and, and get it, um, as you're trying to change the way you're doing things, you do need that little bit of experience. Um, and I think you know he's he's got that. I think he's a I think he's a brilliant player, and hopefully he's he's got he's got still got plenty in the tank. Well, you know, it's a talking two plus one, aren't they? The option of a third year. Taken through to 35, 36. But like you said just before, it, it's it's hugely important that Everton look now for what his replacement looks like. You know, if we're expecting Onana to do that, well, he's going to be in the team anyway. So have we got anyone in the club who can do it at the moment? So we don't know how Onyango is going to play mm. out. He's on loan currently. Is Lewis Warrington that mm. person? Not sure. But it also means the club can look and, and look for the next Mo camera and go, there's one and mm. we can get in and hopefully mm. what the club start doing is getting these players in mm. and giving them making them a squad player while he's still there with then the crossover which they've done obviously yeah. we've done it with Nathan Patterson which is really good and we've, but we haven't done enough and that's that's mm. the next challenge but Garner coming in just strengthens Frank Lampard's midfield options and that can't be a bad thing because no. I think a lot of people last season looked at our midfield <coughs> and it's just like it's just yeah. not good enough yeah so absolutely you know there you, there go. you go 
let us know your thoughts in the comments on Jessica Gay. Let us know, are, you, are you happy to have him back? And uh, we're just seen fitting in with the mm. other players. Let us know. Uh, we 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 are happy to have him back. So let us know your mm. thoughts. Uh, if you want to check out more videos, exclusive videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description, and it'll be on the screen in a moment. See you later.